top 10 successful self-taught individuals in history. Throughout history, some people have used their life experiences to enhance their talents and create their ideologies, for better or worse. These individuals are sometimes called autodidacts, which simply means that they acquire significant knowledge and skills without the presence of a teacher or the setting of a classroom. You could argue all day about which people, alive today or long gone, qualify as the world's greatest learners. But one thing is for sure, you can't ignore the wisdom of the self-taught. Below are a list of the top 10 self-taught individuals in history. Welcome viewers to another life-changing video previewed by Thinkrich Media. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so as not to miss out on any of our new videos. Number 1. Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance Man Known by all as the painter behind the Last Sopa and the Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci's contributions to 15th century Europe far exceed his skills as an artist. He was taught basic writing, math and reading skills, but he received no formal education. Da Vinci would later spend a decade of his life refining his art history under the apprenticeship of Angia del Verrocchio of Florence. Beyond this, Da Vinci was entirely self-taught and created many scientific concepts and plans for inventions that never left the inside of his notebook. He scrawled many ideas that connected nature and science, most notably his invention of a 20-meter mechanical bat. His interest in anatomy prompted him to brilliantly produce a drawing of a flying machine that mimicked a bat. Number 2. Benjamin Franklin Benjamin Franklin attended grammar school when he was 8 and he excelled in his classes. He had to leave school after his second year because his father could no longer afford to pay for it. He loved reading and writing and constantly tried to improve on his grammar and writing style. He went on to be an apprentice under his brother as a paper printer and while he wished to write for the paper, he was not permitted. He began submitting his letters under the pen name Silence Dogwood and his articles became very popular. Franklin was a prodigious inventor. Among his many creations were the lightning rod, glass harmonica, a glass instrument not to be confused with the metal harmonica, Franklin stove, bifocal glasses, and a flexible urinary catheter. His life and legacy of scientific and political achievements and his status as one of America's most influential founding fathers have seen Franklin honored more than two centuries after his death. Number 3. Frank Bender, the Recomposer He made facial reconstructions of the dead based on their skeletons and of fugitives based on outdated photographs with his reconstructions showing how they might look in the present day. The self-proclaimed recomposer of the decomposed used his artistic talents to help fight crime. With zero training, he became a prominent forensic sculptor of the late 20th century and his hauntingly lifelike face sculptures helped to solve many cold cases. Prior to his calling, Bender was in the Navy and spent some years as a commercial photographer. His most notable case came from the sculpture of an elusive killer in which his clay mask of the notorious journalist directly led to his arrest. What made Bender one of a kind was not only his intuition and seemingly sick sense about the victims and their characteristics, but also his optimism and passion for helping people. Number 4. Abraham Lincoln Abraham Lincoln was an American statesman and lawyer who served as the 16th President of the United States from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. Lincoln led the nation through the American Civil War, the country's greatest moral, constitutional and political crisis. Abraham Lincoln received some formal education in his youth, but his schooling was only received intermittently and taught through traveling educators. His total schooling added up to less than a full year and the rest of his education was gained through self-teaching. Lincoln was a lifelong learner and an avid reader, sometimes reading and rereading many of the same books over the course of his life. Number 5. Albert Einstein Albert Einstein attended primary and secondary school in Germany until his father was forced to move to Italy due to business troubles. Einstein was supposed to stay in a boarding house in Germany to finish his schooling but he left stifled by the strict learning structure and dropped out, instead traveling to Italy to meet up with his family. He was told he would never amount to anything and his future seemed bleak but his natural talents for math and physics combined with his passion for knowledge proved otherwise. Number 6. Thomas Edison Aside from a total of 12 weeks of public school, Thomas Edison received all of his education through homeschooling with his mother, later developing his own systems of independence learning and self-education. He loved pursuing new information and read books on a wide range of different topics. At 12 years old, he started selling newspapers, then began publishing his own, thereby taking his first step on a long road of entrepreneurial ideas. Number 7. Granville Woods 
He was the first African-American mechanical and electrical engineer after the Civil War. Self-taught, he concentrated most of his work on trains and streetcars. Granville Woods never gained the mainstream recognition of other revolutionary investors such as Alexander Graham Bell or Thomas Edison, but his contribution to the railroad system in the 19th century had a great industrial impact. Born in 1856 in Columbus, Ohio, a teenage Woods showed interest in mechanics, but he left school to help his family financially. His many jobs on railroad systems sharpened his knowledge and led him to several great inventions, such as the troller and the induction telegraph. With little to no education, he received 60 patents, owned a company, and invented telecommunications and railroad machinery that has made transportation safer. Number 8. Harry S. Truman Born on May 8, 1884, Harry S. Truman had a modest upbringing in rural Missouri. Raised on a farm, he spent his post-high school years doing odd jobs and helping his father on the farm instead of going to college. Eventually, Truman joined the National Guard at age 33. He proved himself a worthy leader in the Meuse Argon campaign and made many allies who would catapult him into his political career later in life. His reputation helped him to enter politics. He became a county judge, then a U.S. senator and eventually vice president to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. When Roosevelt passed, Truman ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. His other presidential accomplishments included helping to rebuild post-World War II Europe and desegregating the U.S. military. He was the only president of the 20th century to gain the title without a college degree. Number 9. Henry Ford As a child, Henry Ford attended a one-room schoolhouse when he was not at home helping his father on the farm. At 16 years of age, after 8 years of school and farm work, he left home on foot and went to work in a machine shop. He was introduced to the workings of an internal combustion engine and when he returned home a few years later, he spent much of his free time experimenting in a small machine shop he had set up. He later became a world-famous business leader and the owner of the Ford Motor Company. Number 10. Charles Dickens Charles Dickens was able to attend school for a few years, but due to problems with his father's employment and his family's financial situation, he was required to quit school in order to obtain a job working in the warehouse. Despite his lack of a full and proper education, Dickens went on to become the most successful writer of his time and one of the wealthiest self-made men in England. If we look at the lives of these great minds and the creative geniuses, we see that the majority of their most valuable education did not come from the classroom but rather from real life experience. The important lesson here is that it was not their grades earned in school that led these people to success but rather it was their experiences and knowledge that they sought on their own that allowed them to create their own amazing destinies. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but it's not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notifications.